Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no secret is revealed. I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. Confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. Everybody's thinking that Jay's part of the Illuminati and rappers could be possibly part of the Illuminati. Are you part of the Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> if I was part of the Illuminati, I would be a little bit, a little bit bigger than what I am today. They do exist, you know, and it's been, it's been around for thousands of years. Um, Freemasons built this country. That's a fact. And now some rappers on the nah, front of Freemasons know. be saying we don't know. You know, it, yeah, and, and it, you gotta understand. If they are a part of it, they're never going to admit it anyway. There is a secret society right. that we know. Right. There are many secret societies that we know. There are secret societies in the, 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 the music business that we know. The industry is somewhat like controlling the ice. Couple crackers you will never meet controlling your life. And the other niggas is pawns, sworn in pawns. Secret society and devils with no horns. It's really going down, man. It's a war for your mind, body, and soul. You know what I mean? Like, it's not about money. They make the money. You know what I'm saying? So, it's really about control. You know what I mean? Over your soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many people they can control as slaves. You know what I'm saying? They got us, man. With food, with fashion, with everything. Entertainment. Like, everything, man. They really got our minds in a trap, man. You know what I mean? They got the world by the brain. They profiling us, they watching us. It's real, it's a secret society out here, you know what I mean? And when you expose them, they, and you ask them about it, they deny it. You gotta understand, if they are a part of it, they're never gonna admit it anyway. I come from the school of thought, there's just, there's just some things that the, that the, that the public just shouldn't know. Uh, I just don't think that it's for mass consumption. I just have always felt that way. You, if, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like, that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people, like, forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame, and it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not worth it. There are secret societies in the, 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 the music business that we know. The higher you get up, the more homosexual it gets. <laughs> that's whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that, the door that's, is open. Yo, that's, that's not, that, listen, no, this is not that, this no. is not a strike at homosexuality. I'm just saying, the higher you get up, the further the doors are, the open up the rooms, well, that, well, the funnier that, the shit that's going on in the room. In the, in the music industry, you have I look at the trends, right? If you follow what's going on in the trends. Rappers have adapted homosexual homosexual fashion. The way the way certain rappers dress, the way the gays dressed years ago. This is a fact. You can't dispute fact. I'm talking about the people in, in, in control. The higher you up, the executives and people pushing buttons, behind buttons. Do I think that they play with boys? Yes. Like sign your name in blood in a contract. <laughs> I grew up in, uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music, and my parents are both traveling ministers, and so I kind of sang about 
you know, what was going on in my life at 15, and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. The higher you get up, the more homosexual it gets. So, people, I thought you were saying you were bisexual. Are you bisexual? Um, well, I, I do like women. Do you like men, too, or just Oh, women? yeah. Well, I've, I've only been in love with men. I've never been in love with a woman. But um, that's really what the song was all about. Uh, why, when I was with my boyfriend, was I fantasizing about women? Have you had sex with women? Um, uh, well, I... My goodness. You don't have to answer me. That's okay. We can leave it as a big unknown if you want. The truth is that every bit of me is uh, devoted to love and art. Oh, you guys are going to learn a lot tonight. <laughs> what can they learn? You know, like you guys are students now, so you're idealists, but you don't know about where art and corporate interests meet yet. Just prepare to have your heart broken. <laughs> the truth is that every bit of me is uh, devoted to love and art and uh, I aspire to try to be a teacher to my young fans. a teacher to my young fans who are who feel just like I felt when I was younger which was I just I felt like a freak I want to liberate them I want to free them of their of their fears and and make them feel that they can create their own space in the world You don't know about where art and corporate interests meet yet. Just prepare to have your heart broken. Yeah. I'm not talking about even rappers. I'm talking about the people in, in, in control. The higher you up, the executives and people pushing buttons behind buttons. The higher you get up, the more homosexual it gets. I aspire to try to be a teacher to my young fans. I want to liberate them. I want to free them of their, of their fear.
try to be a teacher to my young fans who are who feel just like I felt when I was younger. Which was? I just I felt like a freak. I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I want to liberate them. I want to free them of their, of their fears. You don't know about what art and corporate interests me. The higher you get up, the more homosexual it gets. I'm not talking about even rappers, I'm talking about the people in, in, in control. The higher you up, the executives and people pushing buttons, behind buttons. Do I think that they play with boys? Yes. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down. Like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. So the writer comes in, I think he's the writer, he's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on, and, it, huh, what, a prostitute? <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that, I don't feel comfortable with that. Oh, come on, Dave, listen, we, we got it all set up, we we're supposed to shoot, every, every minute you waste costs this much money, you know, the pressure comes in, huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. Then I started thinking about it. All the comics that I've seen, man, you know, strong brothers, why, why are they putting us in these dresses? You know, it's like, so you got to take a stand. you get up, the more homosexual it gets. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? What is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. <laughs> In Ohio, I get a call on my cell phone from Hollywood. Sir, it's him. Always gives me the creeps, sir. He's the president of Hollywood. He's supposed to give you the creeps. <laughs> Greetings, your tinsliness, imperious leader of Hollywood. I'm like, hello, Hollywood.